Hi there, this is Renee from Floating Lights, and you're watching another episode of Focus Wednesdays. And today I'm going to show you how to selectively lighten a part of your photo. So it's kind of very similar to the episode last week where I showed you how to dodge and burn non-destructively. Selectively adding light to your photo, or, or dark for that matter even, um, is very similar to that. So we're going to get started on this photo here today. And I've already done a little bit of an edit to this. So I'm going to show you my edited version. So here's the before, here's the after. Now I do like this, however their faces are still a little bit dark. So I do want to brighten them up a little bit and I'm going to do that selectively. So we're going to come down to the bottom of our layers panel and we're going to select the new adjustment layer. So that's this little circle, half circle here. We're going to click it and we're actually going to select the curves adjustment layer. And from here, we're going to just drag up our curves layer, just like we did in the last video for non-destructively dodging and burning. So we're bringing that up. And then we're gonna come over and invert our layer mask. So we wanna make sure we're on this curve. I'm just gonna rename this Lighten. And making sure that we're on the layer mask and not on the layer. So right now we're on the layer and we can tell that because these four little brackets are around um, the little circle half circle. We want to actually be selecting the layer mask when we go to invert our layer So we want to make sure that we've clicked on the layer mask Which is the white box and that these four little corners are around the white box And then we're gonna hit command I or control I on a PC and that's gonna invert our layer In other words is making our layer mask black so that this layer is hidden So we can't see it unless we paint white onto this layer mask so we are gonna do that, we're gonna use a white brush. So we're gonna come over to our brush tool. We're gonna to make sure that our foreground color is set to white and you can toggle back and forth between white and black by hitting X on your keyboard. So making sure the foreground or the front color here is white, we are going to select a soft brush. So we're just gonna come up and make sure that our hardness is set to zero, which it is, so that's great. And we're gonna select a really soft brush. So I'm actually gonna bump this down maybe to about 10%, 10 or 11%. And then I'm going to adjust my brush size as well. So you can do this by hitting the bracket keys on your keyboard. So the left bracket key is going to make your brush size smaller and the right bracket key is going to make your brush size bigger. So I'm going to leave it about there. And now using my really soft white brush, I'm just going to paint some light onto them in the photo here. So you can see over here, if I show you the before and after, here's the before without the light, and here's the after with the light. And, and if this is a little bit too much or you've made a mistake, you can always go back with a black brush and paint some of it off, or you could just adjust the opacity of your layer. So you could just come and just bring that down a little bit until it's to your liking. So I think that's probably pretty good. So there's before. And there's after. So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can always email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com. Or you can find me over on Facebook at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.